In this episode, I'm going to take a look at a semi-current development release of Inkscape so that I can show off some of the new Spyro capabilities. I'm using Inkscape Subversion Revision 19.338. Um, just as I was thinking about screencasting this, Andy Fitzsimon posted a tutorial on roughly the same thing. Uh, you want to make sure that you check out his blog. He's got a uh, detailed description on how to use Spyro. So check that out. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to take a look at is the new uh, features with the, in the pencil tool. Um, what we have now is a slider for smoothing. Um, basically how that works is uh, if we put it back down to zero and we use the pencil tool, that's what we've been accustomed to uh, in previous versions of Inkscape. And of course you can do like a control L there to smooth it out. But what's, what we have now is a smoothing bar or a slider. If I slide it all the way up to 100, you can see that it auto smooths as I draw. That's a pretty handy tool. Okay, so let's get into Spiral. Basically what we have uh, as far as drawing paths go, in the Pencil tool and the Bezier tool, we have a brand new icon uh, spiral splines. So you can flip back and forth between drawing with Spyro and drawing with just uh, regular Bezier paths. So we're going to check Spyro and we're going to make sure that we start off with a none for the shape. Okay? And basically how it works is just like this. I'm going to draw an S you can see it's pretty rough and when I let go you can see that my uh, that the smoothing the spline is is nice and round now it's still pretty rough it's because I have a lot of nodes in here so if I were to click it what I can do is adjust these nodes and you can see what Spyro wants to do is make a nice curvature in between each node that's something that Bezier paths don't do. Everywhere that I move this, you have a nice, smooth, like rubber banding effect almost. You can see everywhere that, that, uh, that uh, I have a node. And that's what's great about Spiro. Now let me undo this a little bit. And having this shape if you are a font designer by the way and this isn't maybe the way to go about it but let me remove some of these uh, nodes okay now that's pretty rough right there uh, Spyro works by selecting a node and making it rounded See how nice and round that is? We'll select this one, make it round. This one, uh, smooth, I guess, is the proper term for it. And we'll make this smooth. Now you can see that that makes a very nice shape. Double click that, slide these around, and slide this around. And you can see how powerful and how fun it is to draw with these shapes. Now that's something that drawing with Bezier paths might take you a while to do. Got a nice curve here. Let me thicken that up a little bit so you can see it. We can double click any time. And again, you can change it. Nice curves. I love this. Okay, so let's take a look at something else. Paths. Also in this uh, new development release that are, that are uh, coming down the pipeline here, we have uh, some more options. We have a clipboard option, a crescendo and decrescendo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, clipboard option that's a little fun to play with because it's like this option right here is going to somewhat introduce brushes to Inkscape. 
Uh, maybe that's where they're going with this, I don't know, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. So for example, I'm going to draw a circle. I'll make this circle a little bit smaller. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. And we'll just move that off to the side right now. Now when I draw with a path, you can see I get these nice flowing shapes. Kind of looks like an eyebrow right there. Now when I click on it, there we go. Uh, show up there. Now let me turn my path on here. Show the outline. Okay. Now you can see the red outline here. You can see how rough it is. That's how rough uh, my normal path would have been. But since we're using Spyro, it cleans it up and makes it a nice blended, rounded shape. And you can take that further if you want and adjust it. That's just the beauty of, of Spyro. Okay, so what's the difference in our other options? Oh, wait, let me do this one more time here. Let's get rid of this and let's draw another shape. How about a star this time? What would a star do? Let's make this just a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to copy this to the clipboard and we're going to draw with our clipboard shape and I'll just swipe and you can see that I have a nice Spiro star shape. So in a sense, this is kind of like a brush. I'll move this around a little bit. Cool, huh? Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, and let's have a look at some other options here. Okay, we got Crescendo. And if I draw it this way, you can see that it's thin one side, thick the other. If I draw this side, you can see that it reverses it. And just like everything else, I can double click on this, move these around. I can add more nodes, just like paths. Flip that around the other way and you might get something that looks like the Debian logo. And see how nasty this red path is? That's how nasty my Bezier path would, would look like. That's not really useful for anybody. But, but Spyro likes to clean up everything and make everything nice and rounded. Okay. And here we have the opposite effect. So if I start off on this side, it's thick that side. So depending on what you want to do there. Okay. So now these options... Let me go back and we'll do none here. Okay, now I just want to explain that the, the options in the pencil tool are pretty much the same as the options in the Bezier tool, except that we don't have a slider for smoothness, okay? So if you're drawing with a Bezier uh, path and you want to do Spyro, then, you know, just like you were accustomed to, as soon as I hit enter here, it'll take that nasty green path and true it up. And you can take any nodes and delete them. And if you get too crazy with it, your spiral path will just go retarded on you. So just be careful. And that's our shape right there. Okay. So what can you apply spiro to? Well, you can apply it to a lot of things, especially if you're if you're tracing over uh, bitmap images or, or sketches. One of the things I want to explain before I carry on here is uh, the live path effects. Now, in my last episode, I told you that uh, live path effects in the in the development releases are just you know many times better than than what we have in the current stable build. Um, for example. And this is one thing I just want to show you before I carry on. If you have a Bezier path, and let me just draw one right now. Okay. And you wanted to convert that to Spyro. What you need to do is go to our path pull down, path effects. 
and we go to path here and you can see all of these brand new effects we have we even have this brand new one called uh, boolean options which I haven't figured out how to use yet but I won't get into anyways spiral where are you right here spiral spline all we need to do is add that and you see that it turned my bezier path into a spiral again I can click this do whatever I want with it and what's great about it being a live path effect is that I can get back to the original so I can remove this and I'm back to my original path okay so there's pretty much three ways to uh, to use Spyro in uh, Inkscape as far as I can tell there might be more but uh, the pencil tool Bezier path and live path effects okay so everyone was wondering um, not everyone a few people were wondering how I did that uh, Spyro uh, doodle the other day um, let's go ahead and make a background here do something about like this and let's see we'll make this orange and we'll give it a gradient and notice that uh, some of my tools are rolled up um, they also fixed in this release um, the uh, smallest startup size bug if you want to call it a bug I just call it functionality that just wasn't there it wasn't really a bug I guess but you'll be able to make this uh, Inkscape window really small now uh, but anyways let's grab our uh, gradient tool and let's make a gradient across here okay that looks pretty good and let's clean that up okay so we're gonna grab the gradient tool again and in the middle here I'm gonna add a new node and I'm gonna make that a lighter shade of orange and I'm gonna grab this end node and I'm gonna make that a darker shade so we have just a little bit lighter in the middle and I'll move this around a little bit that looks pretty good okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing get this out of the way for now and I'm gonna zoom out a little And I'm going to pick uh, the Bezier tool, and I'm going to use Clipboard. And I'm going to select this object, and we're going to copy that to the Clipboard. And I'm going to draw a shape. Okay that's a nice spiral path there we'll double click on this and we'll move this around a little bit and with Spyro it's so much faster now to adjust a path I mean it, it just moves right along and it makes drawing with paths fun okay I think that's a pretty good shape and I'll add some other shapes here and again you can use the pencil tool if you want to use that we use clipboard oh, actually I'll use uh, this one right here and maybe we'll use bezier path because that'll give me some give me less nodes here this around we rotate it a little bit when you rotate spiral paths they do change just slightly so you have to be aware of that okay I think that looks pretty good and we'll put another one down here and again it's just great drawing really nasty and rough paths and having spiro just clean everything up for you Put one right there. 
we'll rotate this just a little bit to get that on its tangent. And we'll put one down here. And I got one more t one more node there. Okay, we'll move this over. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is take this whole thing right here. Well, let's not get that circle. And I'll group this together. And we'll make this white. And I'm going to change its transparency to about a 20. And you get a nice spiral, kind of like a, a floral, I'm sorry, spiral. Uh, I have to reteach myself on how to pronounce that. Um, anyways, you get a nice floral kind of design. Um, you probably see these uh, pretty often on the internet nowadays because it seems to be like a, a new trend. But that's spiral. So I hope uh, you guys have the opportunity to uh, uh, check out our development release. There's just just a plethora of, of new options in there, and they're just fun to discover and play with. So I think when this release is going to be finished, it's just going to be outstanding. The, the developers are doing just a spectacular job, and uh, I can't wait for this thing to be released. So thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.